Hi my dear students welcome back to my channel this is video series 10 for the lesson carbon and its compounds this is a very important lesson with respect to examination point of view so all the multiple choice questions which i give you in this lesson are very very important so don't miss any video series which i post for your board examination preparation keep watching all the video series if you want the link is given in the description box below and don't forget to share with your friends so today's first question is which of the following represents cyclohexane and the options are option a c6h14 option b c6h12 option c c6h10 option d c6h6 and the correct option is option b c6 H twelve. It is because cyclohexanes, that means cycloalkanes, general formula is CNH two N. So CNH two N adre ali hex andre six agrete. So N is equals to six. So C six. So C N H two N andre two into N. That means two into six. Two six are twelve. So the correct answer is C six H twelve. Okay. The next question is, ethanol is converting into ethanoic acid in the presence of alkaline KMnO4. Okay, here in this reaction, KMnO4 acts as, and the options are option A, reducing agent; option B, oxidizing agent; option C, catalyst; option D. enzyme here kmno4 that is alkaline kmno4 is acting as a oxidizing agent and this is oxidation reaction okay conversion of ethanol into ethanoic acid is a oxidation reaction here kmno4 acts as a oxidizing agent so the correct answer is option b the next question is alkenes and alkynes are and the options are option a saturated aliphatic hydrocarbons option b unsaturated aliphatic hydrocarbons option c unsaturated aromatic hydrocarbons and option d cyclic hydrocarbons and the correct answer is option b unsaturated aliphatic hydrocarbons because alkenes and alkynes are first of all they are unsaturated and when we talk about aliphatic hydrocarbons both the saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons that means alkene alkene alkyne all these belongs to aliphatic hydrocarbons aromatic example is benzene okay so the correct option here is option b the next question is carbon is and the options are option a pentavalent option b trivalent option c monovalent and option d tetravalent and the correct answer is option d tetravalent it is because see the valency of carbon is 4 and the valence electrons are also 4 so carbon can bond with the four other atoms of carbon or monovalent atom of other element so as it is having four valence electrons it is tetra so tetra valent okay and the correct answer is option d the next question is which of the following act as a preservative in pickles and the options are option a acetic acid option b ethanoic acid option c ginger and option d vinegar and the correct answer is option d vinegar the next question is which among the following contains triple bond between them and the options are option a c2h4 option b c2h2 option c c3h6 and option 4 c2h6 and the correct answer is option b C two H two because C two H four 
C three H six. They belongs to alkene, where they will be having double bond between them. And C two H six. It is an example for alkene. It will be having single bond. Whereas C two H two is example for alkyne and it is ethyne. So it will be having triple bond between them. So the correct answer is option B. And the next question is soaps are. And the options are option A, sodium or potassium salts of long chain of carboxylic acids. Option B, magnesium or potassium salts of long chain of carboxylic acids. Option C, sodium or potassium salts of long chain of fatty acids. And option D, magnesium or potassium salts of short chain of fatty acids. And the correct answer is option A, sodium or potassium salts of long chain of carboxylic acids, and it is the definition of soap. So the correct answer is option A. The next question is the gas used in welding and cutting metals is, and the options are option A, ethane; option B, ethene; option C. Ethane. Option D, propane. And the correct answer is option A. That is ethane. Ethane is the correct answer. The next question is which element form basis for all the living organisms? And the options are option A, hydrogen. Option B, oxygen. Option C, carbon. And option D is nitrogen, and the correct answer is carbon is the element which forms basis for all the living organisms. So the correct answer is option C, carbon. And the next question is which of the following has a triple bond? And the options are option A, oxygen; option B, nitrogen; option C. Carbon, option D, methane, and the correct answer is option B, nitrogen, because we have to look at the number of valence electrons present on the surface of each element. That means on its orbit. Okay, nitrogen has five valence electron. It need three more. Okay, when we write nitrogen molecule, okay. So both the nitrogens are contributing. That means sharing three electrons. Thereby, it will form triple bond. Whereas for oxygen, it need only two electrons. It can form double bond. Carbon, so it will form single bond, double bond, triple bond, whatsoever. Okay. Whereas methane, methane, the formula is CH four. It will form single bond between each hydrogen atom. So the correct answer is nitrogen. The next question is missiles are, and the options are option A soap molecules in clean water, option B drop of oil and dirt which surrounds the molecule, option C a tadpole shed fatty acids, option D cluster of soap molecules that surrounds the dirt particle, and the correct answer is option D. Cluster of soap molecules that surrounds the dirt particle. So here the missiles are the lipid molecule, and they arrange themselves uh, in a spherical form in the aqueous solutions. So the formation of the missile has two ends. One is hydrophilic end, and one more is hydrophobic end. Okay. So the correct answer is option D. That is cluster of soap molecules that surrounds the dirt particle. It is called as missiles. And the next question is name the compound C four H eight, and the options are butane, butene, butyl alcohol. None of these. See, first of all, when you have to find out what it is, you should know the molecular formula of saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons. That means alkene, alkene, alkyne. So here you can apply that formula. Alkanes formula, alkenes formula, and alkynes formula to C four H eight. So here C four H eight satisfies alkene formula. Okay, 
and here the number of carbon atoms are four. So as it is four, it is but, and as it is belonging to alkene, so it is butene. Okay, the correct answer is butene. C four H eight is CNH two N formula, so it is butene. So that's all for this video. In the next video series eleven, I will continue with a few more questions from the lesson carbon and its compounds. If you find this video useful, don't forget to share with your friends. And thank you so much for watching my videos.